In this video, we'll be taking a look at two NBA games happening on October 27, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So, two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Detroit Pistons vs. Charlotte Hornets The first week of the NBA season continues with an Eastern Conference showdown as the Detroit Pistons hit the road to take on the Charlotte Hornets. Both teams tipped off their seasons on Wednesday. The Pistons came close but fell short on the road in Miami, losing 103-102, although they managed to cover the 9.5 point spread as underdogs. In contrast, the Hornets won their home opener, defeating the Atlanta Hawks 116-110 and winning outright as two and a half point underdogs. Detroit had the upper hand in three out of four matchups between these teams last season. The Detroit Pistons are eager to secure a victory after a close loss to the Miami Heat in their season opener. They're hoping to avoid a zero to two start, a situation they've faced three times in the last four years. The Pistons have been averaging 102 points per game on 44.6% shooting, while allowing their opponents to score 103 points per game on 40.2% shooting. Cade Cunningham leads the scoring with an average of 30 points and 3 rebounds, while Jalen Duran contributes 17 points and 4 assists. Isaiah Stewart is the third double-digit scorer, and Killian Hayes has been busy on the boards with one rebound. From beyond the arc, the Pistons are shooting at a rate of 34.4% but their free throw shooting is at 60%. Defensively, they are allowing opponents to shoot at 36.4% from deep and grabbing an impressive 56 rebounds per game. On the other hand, the Charlotte Hornets are looking for their second consecutive 2-0 start in the last three years following their win against the Atlanta Hawks. The Hornets have been averaging 116 points per game on 50% shooting, with their opponents scoring 110 points per game on 41.9% shooting. P.J. Washington is leading the way with 25 points and 5 rebounds, while Terry Rozier is contributing 24 points and 5 rebounds. Lamilo Ball is the third double-digit scorer, and Brandon Miller is solid on the boards with 3 rebounds. The Hornets have been shooting at 29.7% from beyond the arc and 73.1% from the free-throw line. On the defensive end, they're limiting opponents to a 17.2% shooting rate from beyond the arc and grabbing 51 rebounds per game. After narrowly missing an upset against the Heat, the Detroit Pistons face the challenge of back-to-back -back road games at the start of the season. In contrast, the Charlotte Hornets are coming off a strong opening win against the Hawks, showcasing their offensive firepower. While it's uncertain whether this momentum will continue, the Hornets have the edge entering this contest, particularly as they're at home. The Hornets had the fortune of back-to-back -back home games to start their season against teams in the bottom half of the Eastern Conference. Charlotte had the opportunity to rest and regroup after their victory over Atlanta, while Detroit had to travel right after a tough one-point loss to Miami. At this early stage, the Hornets appear to be a more reliable team than the Pistons. P.J. Washington may not consistently score 25 points every night, but Rosier and Ball will consistently contribute numbers from the backcourt. With Detroit starting Duran and Stewart inside, they'll struggle to keep up with the rookie Brandon Miller if Charlotte positions him at the four. Detroit's young players, aside from Cunningham, had a difficult time in the opener, and Cunningham hasn't yet proven he can single-handedly lead the team to victory. Charlotte is likely to capitalize on their home court advantage over a Detroit team that is still figuring out its rotations. While the Pistons came close to an upset in their opener, they left their comeback too late, ultimately falling short. The Hornets displayed solid performance on both ends of the court as they effectively defended against the Hawks' backcourt and had six players score in double figures. The likes of Lamilo Ball, Brandon Miller, and P.J. Washington give the Detroit Pistons a tough time in both offensive and defensive matchups. Charlotte's roster is more experienced, having been in the playoff hunt last season with this core group, while Detroit has been in the league's lower ranks for the past few years. Expect Cade Cunningham to face challenges with the Pistons. The Pistons' lack of offensive firepower may lead to several losses. The Charlotte Hornets boast a superior roster and are likely to dominate this game against against the Detroit Pistons, so the Charlotte Hornets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick.
Both teams went under in their opening games. While the Hornets secured their victory, they initially struggled with their long-range shooting, converting only 11 of their 37 three-point attempts, resulting in a 29.7% shooting rate from beyond the arc. On the other hand, the Pistons faced free-throw shooting issues, with only a 60% success rate. Additionally, Detroit had the disadvantage of playing their first two games on the road within three days, which could affect their young players. With a new coach implementing a new system, Detroit is still in the process of refining its strategies by the second game. Given the absence of individual superstars, the game may not feature a high-scoring shootout. Both the Charlotte Hornets and the Detroit Pistons lack substantial shooting on their rosters, likely resulting in sloppy plays, particularly with no standout superstar on the court. While statistics from a single game hold little significance, free throw percentage is an aspect worth considering. The Hornets currently rank 23rd with a 73.1% success rate from the free throw line, while the Pistons are 27th with a 60% success rate. Considering the presence of many young players adapting to NBA gameplay, it's likely that early season missed opportunities will be common. As such, the game isn't expected to be a high-scoring affair and the total seems to be set slightly too high. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Denver Nuggets vs. Memphis Grizzlies Two Western Conference teams seeking to build momentum head to the court in Bluff City. The Denver Nuggets hit the road to face the Memphis Grizzlies on Friday night, looking to secure a second consecutive victory after defeating the Lakers 119-107 in their season opener, where they covered the five-point spread. On the other hand, the Memphis Grizzlies opened their 2023-2024 season with a disappointing 111-104 home loss to the New Orleans Pelicans, failing to cover the one-point spread. In their all-time regular season matchups, the Nuggets hold a 62-40 advantage over the Grizzlies and manage to win two of the three contests between them last season. This includes a convincing 113-97 home victory in their most recent encounter on March 3, 2023. The Denver Nuggets are aiming for a strong start to the season with back-to-back -back victories after an impressive 119-107 win at home against the Lakers. Nikola Jokic was the standout performer, delivering a remarkable triple-double with 29 points, 13 rebounds, and 11 assists. Jamal Murray added 21 points and 6 assists to the mix, while Contavious Caldwell-Pope contributed 20 points on an efficient 8 of 12 shooting. As a team, the Nuggets demonstrated their efficiency, shooting at a solid 52% from the field and connecting on 14 of 34 three-point attempts. However, it was their defensive effort that laid the foundation for victory as they limited the Lakers to just 20 points in the first quarter. On the other side, the Memphis Grizzlies will be eager to bounce back from their season opening loss to the Pelicans, where they fell 111 to 104. Desmond Bain led the team with an impressive performance, posting 31 points, five rebounds, and five assists. Tillman SR and Marcus Smart also made significant contributions, each scoring 17 points. However, the Grizzlies struggled to find consistent scoring elsewhere, with no other player reaching double figures. Their shooting efficiency was subpar, as they connected on only 41% of their field goals and a mere 12 of 43 attempts from beyond the arc. Memphis encountered offensive challenges early in the game and faced difficulties after being outscored 32-19 in the second quarter. Jaron Jackson Jr. had a difficult night, managing just 8 points on a 2 of 9 shooting performance due to foul trouble. The Grizzlies had a tough outing against the Pelicans, dealing with a makeshift rotation. Memphis added Marcus Smart to their roster, but they were without key players such as Yam Morant. Brandon Clark, Stephen Adams, Luke Kennard, and Santi Aldama. In contrast, the Denver Nuggets appeared in top form in their season opener, demonstrating why they are the defending champions. With Memphis lacking a defensive presence capable of containing Nikola Jokic, they might struggle to slow down the Nuggets' offensive onslaught. The Denver Nuggets didn't miss a beat in their season opener, establishing themselves as a trustworthy team in the league. On the other hand, the Memphis Grizzlies struggled to find consistent offense in their opener, and these challenges may persist until they regain their injured players, including Yam Morant, Brandon Clark, Stephen Adams, Luke Kennard, and Santi Aldama. Despite showing resilience in their narrow loss to the Pelicans, the Grizzlies face a tough task against the Nuggets. Denver handled the distractions of a ring ceremony and banner raising, displaying an impressive performance against the Lakers in their season opener. With numerous key pieces missing, the Grizzlies are struggling to match up against teams like the Nuggets. So the Denver Nuggets to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick.
Both teams started their season by falling under the total in their respective games. Denver's win over the Lakers saw a total of 226 points, slightly under the set line of 229 and a half points. This under trend continued from last season when the Nuggets ranked sixth in the league for the highest under percentage. The Memphis Grizzlies also went under the total in their season opener as they combined for 215 points in their loss to the Pelicans, missing the set total of 224 points. Last season, the Grizzlies ranked fourth in the league for the highest under percentage. In recent history, both teams have consistently gone under the total, with eight of the last ten meetings between them resulting in undares, including the most recent four encounters. Considering these trends, we anticipate this game to continue the under trend. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.